Hi all. So today we will see what is exactly JSON and uh, few things about the JSON you might know already or, or maybe something new that I can tell so that you can get some benefits about that. So I will just list out or kind of a brief about uh, what is exactly JSON and what it consists of and why I took this uh, as one of the video topic because uh, nowadays with the advanced into the technology and faster moving the technology JSON is becoming most popular uh, data transfer format I can say so because of its lightweight or because of its uh, more human readability and uh, many more things that we are going to discuss so basically uh, JSONs we will use uh, to fetch the data or to store the data and even for kind of a communication between two different systems or from a client server uh, location so uh, because of as I told that it's a uh, lightweight or it is uh, occupying less memory so that uh, the communication is becoming faster okay so even in case of uh, your rest API that we use JSON as the main uh, what you call uh, source of the data transfer okay so we will see uh, what is exactly JSON okay so let's get started okay so as I told it's uh, the most widely used data format for storing and exchanging the information so as you can see what is exactly JSON stands for so it stands as JavaScript object notation okay so it's kind of a Java uh, JavaScript object okay and so for exchanging the data can be across different two applications or two different machines like uh, in your single machine you can have two different applications they exchange the data or it can be like two machines like you and your friend is communicating uh, like some data transfer by using two different machines or else it could be into a two geographical location as I told client server location so uh, so we'll see a few benefits like uh, as I told JSON is uh, most uh, I mean human readable and also this can be passed or parsing here I mean fetching the data so I can say that most of the like the popular languages programming language like uh, we call about Java dotnet Python JavaScript all this scripting or the programming languages we can uh, use or there are like several libraries are used for each and every programming language that I just spoke uh, and it's easy to fetch the data from there okay so basically so now we got to know more about like what is JSON and uh, what is the benefit but uh, like how exactly the JSON looks like okay so JSON is basically a collection of key value pair or else I can say the one key with an array of values okay and that makes an object okay I will show you one example okay so let's see with one example here I will put so as I told it's key value pair or key with array of values okay array of values and which in turns makes an object okay so now here we'll see a sample uh, JSON actually how it looks like okay so it could be like this so I can say profile so this is my key here okay now this is basically my key now key value pair right so it will be the key and the value will be differentiated by using a colon and the key should be like a within double quotes so this profile is my key and it is enclosed with a double quote and then colon which is separating from the value now the value could be one value okay so like let's say that uh, I can say something so this is basically a JSON okay and here I can do like this and it should be open and close with uh, curly braces so here you can see so this is my key separated with a colon and then here the value and the value could be like any of the so I will discuss more about what and all the possibilities of the values here okay or as I told it could be having more than one value also so like here 
it can have multiple values so like here let me differentiate like this okay so here like let's say that it can have again a child key value pair also so like a profile basically what happens there should be a name i mean uh, a profile will have a name so let's say that i will do something like this okay now separated with a comma because if you have multiple key value pair for a single key then you can separate that with a comma so you can see here so it will always starts with a curly braces and ends with a curly brass okay and the key is enclosed with a double quotes separated with a colon here also key value pair now if you have multiple key value pair then it should be separated with a comma as i mentioned here and here then you can say email okay email address and here you can say something okay something okay so here like this we can mention fine so here this is a basic key value pair but as i told here we can have a key with a array of values so this is basically nested key value pair okay so i can say this is basic json sample okay and remember one thing the json format or if you are creating a json so see this json can be i can put into a text file so because i have to communicate with the data right so i have to put it into some data format so the format is like i can say dot json dot json format like if for a text document the format or the extension file extension is dot txt right so the same way here the format is dot json so i can say basic json so here i can say basic basic dot json okay i can do even like this basic sample dot json i can make even like this okay so this is basic json now let's see that how a json array looks like okay so here now let's say that i will copy the same so this is my base right uh, i mean base sample json so i can update this one so let's say that some people will have multiple phone numbers right so what i can do here phone number and i can put a colon because key should be separated with a value and that should be separated with a colon right here and here i can add multiple what do you call your values in that so let's say that what i can do like this sorry like this and here i can do like this so this is one phone number and other could be like something okay and i can add even another one okay so here you can see the profile is the parent key okay this profile has again a bundle of data okay like a nested key value pair name email address phone number is a key but that has array of values here you can see the array of values should be always enclosed with a square bracket okay now here one more thing the profile now i have only one element right i can even add multiple elements to that okay like this so because a profile i mean it never will be like one so let's say that i am talking about a facebook.com so in the facebook you will not get only one profile right you can have thousands of uh, entries into that so here i can do like this so let's say that some name so let's say that i will put like this xyz abc okay or something and here i can say that xyz and here the numbers can be anything okay so here you can see so i can have uh, like the basic json format like simple key value pair or else i can have one key which can have multiple entries in each entry i can have like what you call the key value pair now each entry will be again differentiated with a comma here and the last 
I should not put so here you can see see after phone number I didn't put a comma and here also I didn't put because that is the end okay if you are uh, if you got another entry then it should be differentiated with a comma here the same way key value here okay so this is basically JSON object and JSON array okay now here you can see all the key value pairs I have put with a double quote okay so the rule is here key always enclosed with a comma make sure that this has to be always so key always or you can say should enclose okay now another thing the value can be so in uh, values are of different data types i can say values are of different data type i will discuss what and all data types are there so first thing is string okay so you can have a string as a value okay or else you can have number like some one two three or something and it can have objects objects is nothing but here array as an example we have taken so this is basically a value right so that i can say an array of objects which is nothing but uh, like array of object uh, array of elements is nothing but objects because so far uh, i am not aware of the data type so i can keep string i can keep numbers i can keep anything so that is nothing but objects okay and then even i can have a boolean like true false and i can have an empty value as well now let's see one by one here even arrays so arrays just now we have seen like this okay so now here what happens now if you see here these things I have put inside uh, uh, what do you call double quotes right I can even leave like this if it is only numbers if it is numbers I can put like this okay if it is like a boolean so let's say that uh, I'll put another entry here and let's say something uh, is mail so let's say that this is one of the what do you call key so here I can say is true okay so this is my boolean see here i'm not putting that into a double code if i'm putting that into a double code it will be like a what do you call like a string only the same way i can put here is mail and here i can say false okay like this i can do something okay so it can have a string it can have numbers it can have like array it can have boolean now so this json so see if you see here i'm just doing a manual entry i'm not using any programming language or anything it's just a plain text format that i'm using and i'm entering so sometimes what it could be like uh, so I mean it can be syntax errors also because see I have uh, spoken so many rules like it should be like uh, curly braces then it should be like with a double quote then colon should be there comma should be there so now here it's a simple like I have only two entries of the profile but let's say that if I am entering like hundreds of data entries here so I could be wrong actually while entering the data so you need not to worry about that there are different uh, uh, what you call json schema like if you before ever heard about the xmls so xml are basically what you call similar to json only but the thing is that that has so many uh, what you call i can say that unnecessary elements you need to add so like you have to have a opening and closing uh, tags and you need to have those uh, less than greater than and uh, it should be like every time you need to put all those uh, what you call tags actually so which is like i can say that extra data which is not necessarily required now for xmls also we you we have some kind of a schema so schema is nothing but which see because these json uh, is in like a, an entry of data so it's a plain text actually but when we talk about an application what is the validation like let's say that i can do anything i can put here comma i can put see no errors i'm getting 
nothing because there is no validations so what happens when the developers write or take the json they have to first validate that it should be as per the schema now what is exactly schema so schema is something that my json structures should look like this okay so like for example the phone number i can have a schema where i can say that the phone number should not i mean the each phone number should not exceed more than six uh, digits if i am entering another digit then when i what you call do a validation of my data with respect to the schema that i have prepared it should throw me that error okay so that the developer has to make sure before processing your json so that will be like at the beginning of the development the team has to decide what kind of uh, json schema it should be then all the team members should use the same schema so that uh, at the later point of time there should not be any kind of uh, what do you call problems while uh, fetching the uh, json okay so here now schemas basically like if i'm talking on behalf of qa members then i think we don't have much about the schema it's just you have to so schema and syntax these both are different uh what do you call uh different uh, things actually or different components of json uh, schema is something where you do kind of a validations but whereas the syntax is something is the json structure that you need to follow like if i'm not giving a comma this is my syntax error it's not schema if i am putting more than six as i just spoke if more than six digits i am putting then that is my schema validation error okay so let's talk about the syntaxes because that is what most of the q folks uh, need to know about that now how do we know that uh, the json structure that i have made is really correct or there is no syntax errors because by looking into that everybody will feel that yeah it is correct but uh, is it really correct so what i'm doing here as you have observed i put only one a double quote here on the left hand side and right hand side right hand side i left it intentionally okay so let's see that if uh, it is giving now how do we know that see here it's not throwing any error because i'm just using some kind of editor to just show you how a json looks like but there are different what you call i can say different uh, websites are available or different json tools are available which will give you uh, like kind of a validation of your syntax so from there one of the json uh, syntax errors you can see is json lint so if i put this the first option comes as a json validator okay so you can see it is giving you a nice uh, like a text pad where you can uh, like give that particular json to validate it so what i will do i'll copy paste this one okay so here i will put and here you can see validate json so let me validate see here it is throwing you few errors so it's saying that parse error on line 4 now what kind of error it is there so here you can see the email address i didn't put a colon here so you can see here so if i put this one okay now let's validate it see that validation so i used to have two validation errors one is this uh, this colon was not there see like if you see here have you ever observed that i didn't put a quote uh, i mean colon here you didn't write but when you validated you got to know about that the same thing see it's giving another one that where i need to give this one now let's validate this one okay see it's giving another one so let's see what is that uh, why does it gives me error here okay so here what it is see uh, i did a small mistake here see here this is basically array right now profile has also an array of objects because these are different entries here right so what it should be like this so here i should be having a square bracket because as i told at the beginning that i need to have wherever i'm giving multiple elements that should be separated with a square bracket so the same thing i'll put here one more now for the syntax thing let's do like this and then validate it see 
it's a valid JSON. See, that's what uh, uh, it happened. Even though I did everything by talking, but I did some mistakes. So here, like this, it should be. Now let me copy the updated one. So here, what I did, like I let me just reformat it so that it will be more readable. Okay, fine. So here you can see. So this is my profile. Okay. So profile has multiple entries, right? So each entry kind of a, uh, an array actually for this profile. So that's why I have to keep with a square bracket. Fine. So this is the way you can do a syntax validation before using that. Okay. So as a QA uh, member, like again, if you are a QA member, then I can say that most of the time you will use this if you are doing kind of uh, API uh, testing, so kind of API automation or something, or even manual testing. Like if you are using Postman as a manual uh, API testing, then you need a lot of JSON. Uh, what do you call? structure because uh, rest api basically takes the request and response in format of uh, json only i mean it takes even with xml but most of the uh, time you will see the content type or the type of request and response that you are sending or getting is on the json format even you can store these things if you are doing kind of an automation testing and if you are if you are not willing to keep the, your data into a property file then you can do you can uh, use the json as a data keeping uh, what you call file format okay and uh, like as i told like most of the programming languages support the fetching or the parsing of the json string uh, so it's basically you can convert the json object because when i put this particular content into a file that is nothing but an object and uh, when you fetch that it will be coming as an object now object don't have any i mean you can't structureize an object because you don't know what kind of uh, data is there in that object so for that there are several libraries are present which will which you can convert from a json object into a json string and then you can fetch each and every element of this so like if i go with the profile then i will get list of elements in each list again i will get list of uh, what you call each each so this is when i access profile i'll get two list items now in each list again i need to loop to get all these details now in one item i have two values also that i can keep in an array so list and then array all these things you can fetch it and you can uh, like do kind of uh, automation testing or you can use the data as you need okay so in our upcoming videos we will see how we can use uh, different uh, libraries so basically i will show how we can use the json simple library uh, which is uh, basically used for java programmers so we'll see in the next video how we can parse or fetch the values from the json okay so hope this helps let me know in the comment section uh, if you need kind of any other information for JSON as an introduction so that I can add that into while I make uh, while I will make uh, the next video okay so thanks for watching and have a good day